Hello, my fellow gamers, UltraGamer64 here, and today I've got another collection video for you guys. This is going to be my Legend of Zelda collection. Now, as you can see, I have Zelda games spanning from uh, pretty much every console, so we're going to get right into this. Starting off, we have The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the N64, often considered to be the best game of all time. This game is a lot of fun and super, super hard, um, for me at least. I know a lot of people that can breeze through it, but I have not actually beat this game. I really, really have to. But I'm still really happy to have it in my collection. I even got it for free. I didn't even have to pay for it. And I know this game is super, super expensive. Well, normally. It's normally around 30 to 35 bucks. But I'm really happy to have it in my collection, and it just looks beautiful. The next game is Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. This game I also got for free from my cousin. This is also a very fun Zelda game. I have beat this before. Many times, actually. Well, maybe three or four. But this is a really fun game, and I really, really enjoy it. The next game is of the classic NES series, Zelda II The Adventure of Link. This game I can't really figure out what to do. It's kind of a hard Zelda game to get the grasp of. Most people are going to laugh because most people are good at Zelda games, but I, so, most of the time I can't really figure them out. But this is still a fun game. The next game is Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. This is also a very, very fun game. Um, I've only played through the first few minutes of it, but it is a very fun game, of course. Most Zelda games are, except for the crappy CDI games, but... It's still a very good game. The next game is Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Um, I did buy this along with my Game Boy Pocket for $15. It's really, really fun. I still have not played through... I haven't even played this game yet, actually. But eventually I will. At, at some point. <laughs> the next game is Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. I bought this at a garage sale for $15, I believe. And as you guys can notice, it's in a cardboard box because it it originally came with the Game Boy to GameCube cord connector. Or link cable, my bad. And this game is so much fun. I love this game. This game is amazing. It takes after the, uh, the art style, excuse me, the art style of Minish Cap. And it's just a really, really fun game, especially if you have friends. The next game is Link's Crossbow Training for the Wii. Now, I don't have the proper case for this because it's just a cardboard cover, but here it is. This game is an on-rail shooter. It's not a traditional Legend of Zelda game, but it's still a lot of fun, and it's a pretty fun game to play with friends to try and get, e get high scores and try to beat each other. The next game is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This game is also a lot of fun, amazing game. Definitely pick it up if you ever have the chance. I also bought this for $15. And the game is just a lot of fun, and just... Uh, it's Zelda, I don't really have to explain. It's just tons of fun, and just really, really awesome game. The next game is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Um, this game basically has the original Ocarina of Time, and then Master Quest, which, which makes the enemies harder to kill, makes the dungeons randomized in a way, um, just makes the game tons harder. So, if you ever wanted a harder Ocarina of Time, then definitely pick this up. Now, you might be saying I'm out of Zelda games, but I'm actually not. This is the prized collection... Well, this is the prized game of my collection. This is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Collector's Edition in the box. I'm going to open her up right here. Now, I want to be super careful because I really, really, really don't want to damage this box. I'm going to hold the camera with my left hand. I'm trying to be super, super careful here because I really don't want to damage this box or the, the cartridge or the booklet. But as you can see, the game is complete. The gold Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time cartridge, 
its booklet and the box. I am so incredibly proud to own this game. I just bought it yesterday actually for $60 and I'm just so proud to own this game. Just to find it in the box is incredibly rare. There's only four of them on eBay complete like this. So just to have this, it automatically makes it the best thing in my collection. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe. You can also follow me at the links below on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.